Now folks, there's a reason why they say pride comes before the fall. Young Thug has now been banned from reviewing legal documents of his own case by the judge because he was posting funny shit on Twitter. So Young Thug hopped on Twitter and he said, I'm talking with my roommate and we're wondering if you could swim 100 miles from the middle of the ocean back to the shore, at Michael Phelps. I mean, funny tweet, but the, it isn't going to end well. He also says, I love me some Miss Spider. Now Michael Phelps actually responded to Young Thug and he said this, yeah, I think I can make it. Then Young Thug responds saying, how long do you think it would take? He also says on September 6th, have you ever fucked a girl that was so wet slash good that you slapped the shit out of the, the, I don't know what he said, but I can't see the full tweet right now. But Young Thug is wilding on Twitter, fucking around, messing around on Twitter like it's a game, like it's a joke. Of course, the court system is looking at it for what it is. Young Thug is basically trying to mock the court system from behind bars. Yeah, y'all got me locked up. Yeah, y'all got me on Rico. Yeah, you got me and all my homies on Rico. Yeah, some of my homies are literally cooperating against me and might cost me more than two decades of my life, but I got Twitter and I'm gonna fuck around on Twitter and make y'all look crazy. So the court system is like, okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna ban you from being able to see the documents of your own court case. Now. In a video for the court hearing, prosecutors argued that Young Thug allegedly had a phone while behind bars. Brian Steele, Young Thug's lawyer, told a judge someone wrote the innocent tweet on his client's behalf. Now, me personally, I believe that Young Thug is not writing these tweets from jail. If they wanted to find out if Young Thug had a phone, they could easily go find it themselves by just going to Young Thug's cell and grabbing the phone. In the video, Steele told the judge that the tweet about Michael Phelps is getting investigated by the sheriff of that county. Steele said that Young Thug asked the person who has control of his Twitter account to post it. The judge disagreed and said this is part of the state's concern. Stereo Gum reports that Judge Glanville agreed that the defense lawyers must now wait until November 25th to share a specific confidential discovery with their clients. So what I got, y'all got to understand this. Young Thug didn't just fuck it up for himself. He fucked it up for everybody else on the case. It didn't say that defense lawyer. It said. The defense lawyers must now wait until November 25th to share specific confidential discovery with their clients. There's a reason why they more than likely put that date on there. Because by that point in time, whatever window of opportunity that Young Thug and, and his uh, fellow defendants might have needed to counter whatever is going on will pass. This is all by design. It's all by design. Young Thug, for whatever reason, whether he's tweeting from the fucking cell or asking someone, who's out in the public to tweet for him is fucking up. Why would you do that? This is like, this is the arrogance on times 100. You are currently locked up on Rico. You have a murder on you, all kind of violent crimes on you. Why are you trying to humiliate, antagonize and disrespect the state? You are now in their custody. You are now under their control. You piss them off. You're giving them all the more reason to treat you much more harshly than they might have before. Why would you why would you do that? Everyone else has managed to stay somewhat silent. If any tweets have gone out, it's probably business related tweets. Hey, this song is dropping. This feature is dropping. This project is dropping. Look out for this merch. Look out for this. Look out for that. Young Thug, what does he do? Tweets out a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with business and just basically trying to antagonize the state. So now they banned him from reviewing his own case. These niggas don't learn. This is a joke to these dudes. This is a fucking joke. The crime they commit, the crimes they brag about committing, the destabilization that they sow in the community, that the lack of stability, the destruction that they create, all of this is a fucking joke. And then when these niggas get locked up on Rico, you see how serious it is to them. You see how serious it is. I'm just gonna send off tweets while I'm locked up on a Rico with multiple murders involved and all kind of years that'll probably get me all kind of charges that will get me so many years that I'll never ever see the light of day again. I'm gonna tweet and antagonize the fucking Georgia Bureau of Investigation. That's what I'm gonna do. Bright, bright idea. Bright idea. I don't like, I don't understand the pride of these niggas, bro. I genuinely don't understand. I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for Young Thug. I don't feel sorry at all. So now he's cost himself and everyone else the ability to review the proper information necessary for them to navigate this case. Seriously, they now must wait until November 25th to share specific 
confidential discovery with their clients. The shit that you probably really need to know is now no longer accessible. And you wanna know why they probably did it? To stop Young Thug from possibly tweeting about it, sharing it with people. If Young Thug has a phone in jail, he could share information. He could do this, he could do that. They're trying to stop Young Thug from one, knowing what's going on in the case, obviously, and two, being able to properly navigate it or release information to the public or threaten others. Either way, Young Thug fucked it up for himself and everyone else in his, in his team that's being charged with this Rico by trying to be arrogant and trying to be silly. Niggas don't take shit serious, and that's why he's getting fucked up right now by the state. Imagine you being hit with a Rico that might cost you 30 years, and the judge says, you won't be able to review specific confidential information from September to fucking November 25th. That's what you want? That sounds smart to you? Bro, like, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. The arrogance of these niggas knows no fucking bounds. I don't feel bad for them. Murders here and there, murders here and there, all kind of violent crime here and there, niggas threatening each other, niggas bragging about shooting up a nigga mama house. I don't feel bad about the fact that the judge won't let them see the documents. Since these niggas want to play on Twitter and mock the state, it is what it is. It is what it is. I don't feel bad for these niggas. They were destroying the city of Atlanta with gang crime and gang violence, and now I'm supposed to feel bad because the judge and all these other folk on the case have banned them from seeing specific information until November 25th? Y'all niggas is grounded. <laughs> y'all y'all want to play on the phone? You're grounded. I don't feel bad. I'm done feeling bad for criminals, especially after this PNB rock shit. I'm done feeling bad for the bad guy. I'm done feeling bad for niggas that want to wreak havoc and destroy the community and kill folk. For real, bro. I'm done with all that shit. Y'all want to have sympathy for the folk tearing up the community? Go ahead, but I'm not. I, I'm all out of sympathy. I'm all out of sympathy. Real shit. I'm, I'm all out because these niggas don't take nothing serious at all. At all. And he just cost himself and everyone else on the case the right to see specific confidential information for two months. Two and a half months. Playing. Playing games. You can't make this shit up at all. You can't make this up at all, but it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.